So this is part two of a design. Last week we made this schematic. Um, if you're new, just joined us, uh, ask questions. I will try to go through it step by step what we did last week. But today the goal is to make this schematic into a PCB. So this, like I was saying, the accelerometer is basically just going to measure your X and Y movement. So when my drone tilts a bit, the accelerometer will pick it up, send a signal back to my microcontroller saying, listen here, I moved a bit. We need to compensate by pushing up a motor. So that's its goal. That's its purpose. Okay, so now we're going to go and take the schematic that we draw and put it on a PCB. So this blank canvas. Um, so most of these components might not have a footprint. So a footprint is just, it's easy to see maybe if I go like this. So you push O for your library. So there's two ways you can do this. I'll show you this way and there's another one. So you need to link your schematic to a certain footprint. That's, that's the goal now. So there's two ways of doing it on KiCad. Uh, I'll show you guys now if this ever goes away. Hey Sai, um, what do you mean? What are the boards in Michigan program? So you can, it's an ESP32, but you, we're going to use the Arduino um, IDE. So the Arduino bootloader will be loaded onto it. And so we'll program with Arduino IDE. Wow, this is taking long. Uh, the first time libraries are always taking long. Oh, uh, yes, that's, if that's what you meant, Sai. So yes, we are making our own PCB. So we're taking the ESP chip that you would find on the development board, but we're taking it off and making our own board. Like I was saying with the uh, resistors, so let's take, I normally take 0603. It's nice and small, it's not too difficult to solder. 0402 gets a bit, um, a bit harder to solder. Uh, if you, anyone um, not familiar with this terminology, so 0603 is 0402, just let me know. It's just basically the size of the resistor. So 0603 will look like that. Uh, 0604, 0402, so it just gets smaller and smaller. Metric, so it's 16 by 8. So if we measure it, I just want to, so I want to show you guys that there's two ways to link your schematic to your, to your PCB. So I can either go, if I go back to my schematic, like R3, let's use this example. So I need to link it to the, to the PCB. And this R3 is called the designator, and that is its that's how it gets linked. So R3, if I make this R3, then they will be linked. So if I just do this. So if I click on it, it highlights here. Now they are linked, which is quite cool. But I can also go like this and say, okay, cool. Footprint, so I double click on it, or you can highlight push E. E is for properties. If I can just click on it. And then footprint here. I prefer this way, because this way will always link your symbol to a footprint. The other way, it's more manual. So SMD and THD. So it's just SMD is my surface mount components. So it's got no holes. And my THD is through, through hole. So it has holes on the PCB. So you can see hand solder. So this just means they made the pads a bit bigger. So here I can give it a footprint. Now it will be linked. So if I go now tools, update PCB from schematic. So we'll take from my schematic and push it to the PCB. Uh, don't worry about that for now. I will take everything across that had footprints. But not, now if I click on here, I can see it was taken across. You'll see that R4 and those ones are not across because they don't have any footprints. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give make sure that all my components here have a footprint and the correct footprint. So you can see some of the schematic symbols already had some. So I'm just going to delete. So now we're going to make sure our resistors are 0603s package guys again if there's any terminology please just shout packaging and all that stuff it's always better just to keep um, track of what components majority of the world uses once you start choosing components then you're going to st struggle to find components and then you're going to wait six weeks for lead time and stuff like that so you can see you can also have a data sheet so if you have a component like the ESP32, you see they put the data sheets in. It's quite cool. Click on the button. That's what I like about KiCad, and it's free. Can you believe it? So you can do that yourself as well. So let's say we got the Molex. So we take this link and just copy it there, and then we'll have the data sheet. Mm -hmm. So when you open it in a year's time and you need to look at something, it's just so much easier. I would advise everyone to do this, especially just keeps track of everything.
Great, so we're talking about connecting our footprint to our components, just going through it, making sure everyone has a footprint, has a friend. To, to take your schematic to your PCB, you have to say tool, update PCB from schematic. So we'll take the information on your schematic and move it to your PCB. The most important part of PCB design is actually your schematic, because that is where it says, okay, this gets connected to a certain point. Your PCB is more for proper practices for EMCs and that type of things, but connectivity wise, it will always tell you if you're incorrect. So focus a lot on schematic before you do the PCB. Cool, so you see there that most of it, it tells us we did not do C3, J4, J3, J2. So there's two capacitors we missed and we forgot to give footprints to the connections for our motors. I made a mistake here, look at that. So what you can do is check your connections. So there's some things, some connections that should not be not connected. So if you go inspect electric tools checker, you can run it and it will point you all the places that's not connected. So I'm not going to use that, so I don't mind, I'm not using that. Uh, is that not connected? Oh, that's dangerous. But I made a mistake here because I put the, it moved down a bit, so this should be actually there. Boom. So D plus, D plus. My mistake. Good. It is It is connected, so um, the reason I do it like this is just, it's easier for me to know, okay, it's masterometer. But if you see these names, the SDAs, SEL, all this stuff, they are called labels. And wherever you see labels, so if you push L, it's just a name. It's called a net label, actually. So it's a name that if I have SDA here and I've got SDA over here, they are linked. So it's like a wire running all the way to here. But imagine you've got a big PCB and you just have wires all over the place. It's, it's a bit difficult to keep track of, right? So all these names, all these black labels are actually connections. So if I've got M3 here, I've got M3 here, they are connected. M3 plus here, M3 plus here, they are connected. I hope that answers your question. But yeah, so you have to connect to the schematic. You cannot just push components to your PCB and then try to connect it. All the stuff has to be connected to your schematic. Otherwise, it will not work on the PCB. This is your, this is where everything happens. This is probably the most important schematic. Make a straight line. To make a straight line, you keep in control. So I'm just going to make it 75. We can change it later on. Yo, it's going to be a nice challenge to get it on this board. Let's just make a square. Control V. Ah, control C, Control V. So if you got this now, you got your square. You can push Control Three, or it's Alt Three, sorry. And then you can see a three D. So that's our board there. And those are components. So the aim is to get those components on this board and make it pretty.